get a good long look at this thing because this is the last time you guys are ever gonna see this car looking like this. It'll never, ever, ever look like this again. Nice, clean, simple, aggressive, but yeah, it's simple setup. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something that's gonna be a little bit controversial, I believe is the word I'm looking for, and that is powder coating the wheels on the FRS, a very, very bright, vibrant color. I've been wanting to do this since before we even got these wheels. Since I ordered these wheels, I never had plans of keeping them this color. They do look good. They look better on the car than I thought they would, but the reason why I ordered these wheels in this color is because it's the cheapest color available, surprisingly. If you get them all black, way more expensive. Any other color, way more expensive. These were the cheapest. They're still expensive, very, very expensive, but they're the cheapest available for the CR2 piece. The color that we're doing is gonna be aggressive. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like it. Hell, I don't even know if I'm gonna like it, but I've been wanting to do it, and being that we have powder coat stripper, that giant tank right there, if we don't like it, if we get this whole project done and at the end of the day, we stand back and we're like, it's a little bit much for the car, we can always change it. I do have a, another vision for the car as well. And that's like a, like a version four, or a version five. I don't even know what version we're on now, but that's later on down the road. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. We gotta pull the wheels off, figure out how to get the brand, literally brand new tires off these wheels without destroying them. I'm not all that good at using these tire machines yet. So I hope we can get these tires off without destroying them. There's not too much stretch on there. So I think we should be able to figure it out. We do have a few other problems that I'm foreseeing. The main one being, are they even gonna fit in the oven because the rears are pretty wide. I think the rears are 12 wides, either 11 and a half or 12 or 12 and a half wides. I kind of forget. So we might have to mod out the oven a little bit, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Let's get this car up in the air on the lift, get the wheels off off, try and get these tires off and run through the whole process of powder coating these things the brightest freaking color that we could ever possibly imagine it's gonna be wild stay tuned Getting the FRS in the air on the lift is such a pain in the ass. I don't know why. I think it's because it's rear wheel drive, so the rears will like kind of help themselves onto the ramps, which you need the ramps obviously to get the car over the arms so the arms can get under the car because it's so freaking low. But the fronts just like drag and they keep dragging the wood. You guys saw how long it took, but we got her up in the air. I'm excited. I am so excited right now for this process. There's no way we're gonna get this all done in one day. So it's gonna be a multi-day video, but yeah, let's uh, pull these wheels off and see about getting these tires dismounted. Somehow we were able to get that tire off without destroying the tire or without scratching the wheel even just a little bit. I'm very, very excited. I'm happy. We're progressing. That's all life's about, right? Progressing. We got this. I am definitely gonna miss this look. GT Silver, polished lips, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead right now and see if this guy will even come close to fitting in the oven because if it don't fit, we're either gonna have to get a new oven or we're gonna have to mod out our current oven, which we've done. We've done quite a bit of modding on our current oven, but let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. Definitely a tight squeeze, but she fits. If she fits, she sits. Huh, <sighs> I'm out of breath. What should we do from here? I'm just gonna try to go through, pull all the tires off without destroying them, and then we can move on with our lives.
We got the wheels all stripped down. So the center caps are off, valve stems are off, all the wheel weights are off, got them cleaned up. These things are ready to go in the powder coat stripper. Now, there's not really much powder coat on them. The only powder coat that I'm aware of would be the centers, which are done in silver. The lips are probably just bare, maybe a clear coat, I doubt it. Either way, we cannot unbolt these wheels. They are a welded two piece. Well, they are a two piece, they're a welded two piece, so you can't unbolt them like the old three piece wheels we ran on the car. Let's get the first one in the tank, let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, and we should be ready for sandblast. So here's how the wheel looks straight out of the wheel stripper. Of course we neutralized it, but now it is time to move on to the sandblaster. <coughs> All right, we got the wheel sandblasted. That is what they look like fresh out of the blaster. I've had one in the oven for about 25 minutes now at 400 degrees. So the initial pre-bake is what I call it. It's kind of like a gas out cycle. Pretty much just gonna get any impurities off of the wheels before we powder coat them because if there's any sort of, any sort of grease or like oil from your skin or anything on there, you're gonna have fish eyes in the powder coat. It's not a good look. I've dealt with it before. Pain in the ass. The gas out cycle is always a very good idea let's pull that thing out let it cool down a little bit honestly i've tested hot coating or hot flocking i guess you'd call it powder coating the part hot versus powder coating the part cold i've never seen a difference so it's not essential to let it cool down completely over here we have all of the essentials for powder coating we have the color which I guess you guys have not seen yet. This is the same color as the brakes on the car. So if that gives you an idea of how bright and poppy this thing's gonna look, it's gonna be wild. I always forget how to say this. Chartreuse, chartreuse, chartreuse sherbet, I think is what it's called. So we got the powder there. I'll have that link down below. Of course, it's from my boys over at Prismatic Powders, the best powder coat company in the world. And then we have our Redline Easy 50 gun. And that's pretty much all we need. Let's get this all set up, get this wheel out of the oven, spray it out, and see how wild this is gonna look. I'm excited but nervous. I'm gonna run through, blow this thing off with compressed air. I'm kind of worried that there's gonna be some sand down in there, even though we blew it up before. After we bake it, maybe some sand came out. So I'm gonna blow it off. We got the gun connected to the power source. We gotta ground this clip onto the wheel, which I always go on the backside so you don't see it. Um, start with the, let's go right there. That'll work. Then we just gotta connect air to our gun and we are ready to spray. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is going to be insane. As you can see, some of it already flowed out. That means the wheel is still a little bit warm. This color is gonna be freaking nuts on this car. 400 degrees, 12 minutes, part metal temperature. So what that means, if you didn't know, as soon as the whole wheel reaches 400 degrees, that's when you start the timer for 12 minutes. It takes a while on our janky ghetto oven, but I'm, uh, I'm too cheap to buy a nice oven because they're expensive. All right, first wheels out of the oven. This is ridiculous. Why are we doing this? The color is gonna change when it cools down. It's kind of crazy how much it changes. You guys see the difference? That's, that's the same color, warm versus obviously cooled down. Absolutely wild. Let's run through, get all four of these guys powder coated. I really need to upgrade some equipment here. The uh, sandblaster is almost too small for these wheels and the oven is clearly a little janky as well. We got a good powder coat gun. We just gotta upgrade some other stuff as well.
Yep, that's very, very bright. I like it. I really like it. I think it's sick. Pretty wild with the calipers being the same color. I might change the caliper color, not really sure. I kind of like it. I'm gonna go ahead right now while we're powder coating the rest of the wheels. This one's pretty much cooled down all the way, so I'm going to see if we can't get this tire mounted because as you guys know, I am not very good at mounting tires. So I'm gonna take my time with these things. Obviously I don't wanna scratch them up at all. So let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. I am shaking with excitement right now. Most, by far the most expensive wheels that I currently own and also the most expensive set that I've ever mounted tires on myself. And I did not scratch it or ding it or scar it or mar it or do anything to the wheel to harm it in any sort of way at all. I'm excited, I'm proud of myself. That's the finished look. Absolutely in freaking sanity. Second wheel is out of the oven. That is a good comparison on how much this color actually changes. Watch this. Pretty wild how much this color changes as it cools down. I always am very fascinated with that. There's a lot of downtime. So as like a wheel comes out of the oven, I let it cool down, I throw the tire on. And then of course, there's one last thing that we need to do before we put the wheels back on the car. So we have currently two wheels powder coated, one tire mounted. And the last thing that we need to do is some Armor Shield 9. My biggest regret with putting these wheels on the car before was never ceramic coating them. I was in such a hurry. I remember that day, I was in a very, very big hurry to get these wheels on the car. So they never got ceramic coated. And being that they have such big lips, they are such a pain to clean. So we got it wiped down with some IPA, some 70% rubbing alcohol. And now we're gonna slap some Armor Shield 9 on here. I always do two coats. And this is the biggest game changer for wheels, especially wheels and brakes, because all of the brake dust, pretty much just pressure washes right off. It makes cleaning way easier. I do have a discount code, which is Devin25. I'll have this stuff linked down below along with my discount code. But guys, coming up July 4th or like the July 4th weekend or holiday, Avalon King is having a massive sale on Armor Shield 9. So if you don't wanna wait, buy it now. But if you wanna save some serious coin, I would recommend waiting. What is it? Like two and a half, two, two and a half, three weeks away. I would wait and save a ton of money. I'm gonna give her about an hour and then we can do the second coat. Check this out though. I pulled this wheel out of the oven, getting ready to slap down some powder and look what came out of that crack. It's exactly why you do the pre-bake cycle because if that came out when there's powder laid down, this whole wheel would be destroyed. She'd be going back in the powder coat stripper and we would start from scratch. But thankfully we did the pre-bake cycle and caught all that. So we gotta let this guy cool down, get all that cleaned out of there and uh, try again. Fronts are 100% ready to go. Everything's ceramic coated, two coats of the good old Avalon King on those guys. I am about to try a rear tire. The fronts are a 255-35, rears are 285-30. So it's a, it's a 30 series versus 35. And I hope that doesn't make it difficult. Look how wide that thing is. They are indeed 11.5s. So a 285-30 on 11 and a half. Let's give her hell, see what happens. I am getting way too good at this. Now I'm playing. I'm getting better though. I think we can uh, safely say from here on out, we should be good without destroying the wheels. It's all in the technique. There's a little technique to it. I thought I needed the extra arm that came down and pushed the tire down. You don't need that if you, uh, if you do it right. Here is the finished look, the finished final product of all four wheels and tires, mounted, balanced, ceramic coated, ready to go on the car. Insane, absolute insanity. They look so good, I don't know if I dare put them on. That's how good they look. This is one of my better jobs and it's nice. I like, I like good work. <laughs> Enough playing around. Let's see how they look. Let's see if it's a, if it's a good choice on the color or a bad choice. Dude. Bro.
one of the first things I said before we started doing this was I know a lot of people aren't gonna like it and I didn't even know if I was gonna like it myself. It's different. Now seeing it aired out, I like it, but it's certainly different. This is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> that is bright. That is certainly bright, boys. That is out there. That's a lot of yellow or green, whatever you would want to call it, with the color. Though with the calipers, the same color. That's a lot. Probably look a little bit better if there wasn't powder all over the car. I'd wash it, but we gotta wait a few days, probably about two days, before we get water on the wheels. They look bigger. Now that they're all one bright color, they look bigger. Let's get a little back shot. That is aggressive. That's out there. <sighs> I feel like eventually I'm gonna get sick of it. I mean, eventually I get sick of all the cars, let's be honest. That's why I always have to change stuff up, but this is like out there. I'm curious to see what Bobby thinks. Bobby has no clue we did this. Baby, I, honey, I don't have a bra on, I don't have makeup on. I have my no, no. on. Hold up, I, Bobby, I need help. I look like a man. You do? Yeah, look at me. I wish I was Look at me. Um, there's a really heavy package in my car. Can you help me get it out, please? <laughs> it's a two person job. <laughs> Why do you gotta record it? It's a really cool package. Oh my god! What the frick? <laughs> oh. What in the mother frickin' heck is going on here? What do you think? Those look so cool. A little out there? Those literally look so cool. Is it stupid? No, that looks so good. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why, you don't like it? I don't know. It's cool. It's just, you know, they're kind of bright. Wow, honey. That looks so cool. Thanks. They probably look better if my car wasn't in half yellow too. Are they bright enough? Oh my god. You wanna know the, the coolest part about this whole situation? Yeah. I'll tell you something really, really cool. Okay. Spent a lot of time, right, powder coating these guys? Yeah. And guess what? Mounting the tires, I didn't fuck any of them up. That's a surprise. That's a step up. You yeah. like it? I love it. Good. So, <laughs> can I drive it now? Sure. Go rip it around the block. No, for like, I'll trade you for the BMW. Oh. Oh. So, where's the package at? There's no package. I would just want you to look at my car to see what you thought. I know, that's just bright. It's kind of funny because the calipers are the same color. Ruby, I don't, my face is like. Hello? I kind of like it. I really do. Yes. Okay. That's all. Should we uh, do your wheels this color for your car? Frick that. What do you think of my new wheels, Coda? Did you see them? Do you see my wheels? You like them? Huh? Please. Do you want to go for a ride in the FRS, son? Hello? Oh, you want your belly rubbed, huh? <laughs> Can you not record me? No, I look like a boy. How do you look like a boy? Honey, I don't know. It's just the way I was born. Oh. Is that why your name's Bob? Yes. Bob the boy? Roberta. Roberta the Bobby the builder. Okay, cool. That's a wrap for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I honestly thought you weren't gonna like it. Really? Yeah. No, I really like it. Because I know you liked them how they were. I personally liked them how they were. Like it's very classy. I'm more of like the classy type of gal. But I really did, can appreciate some dope colorness. I understand. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to pick up this powder, I'll link it down below. Or anything else we used, I'll link it down below. Remember the ceramic coat sale is coming up July 4th. Save some money. And uh, that's going to be a wrap. Peace out, boys. I'll see you tomorrow.